Hello there, my good buddy in Hotlanta, Jason, there's no I in Mansoor, thinks we should add to the Prince playlist via the song Cream, but not the album version. There's a solo acoustic version on YouTube. Go watch it. It's really cool. Live at Webster Hall, 2004, and we are going to do this in three levels. One, Super Duper Campfire version. Should take no more than 17 seconds. Two, I'll show you the bar chords that Prince was using, and then three, some of the tasty licks he did, and this should be extra cool because these tasty licks, you can use them in any key, in any song, so this will be kind of like a mini little solo lesson including for me. Super duper campfire version, capo one, A, D, A, A. And that's it for the verse, A, D, A, A. For the chorus, it's gonna be A, E, three times. Sharp minor, G, A. But of course, Prince wasn't playing the super duper campfire version. He was in B flat. That's the key of the song. Prince is a thumb guy, so he had thumb on E6, and then, you know, 8, 8, 7, and pointer finger would get those two. Um, I'm not a thumb guy, so I'm going to play the regular bar chord for B flat. It's not going to impede our ability to do the tasty licks if you play the regular bar chords. Okay, B flat. And E flat is six on the A string, eight, eight, eight on D, G, B. And then, you know, that's the thing. So B flat, E flat, B flat, B flat. For the chorus, it's B flat and F, two frets higher than the E flat chord. B flat, F, three times, of course. G minor, three, five, five. A flat major, B flat major. All right, the first thing he did is really easy. It's giving me false hope here. He's on his B flat, chugging away. This is it. And all he did there was isolate the two high strings out of the B flat chord for that accent. We're in the key of B flat major, and whenever you're looking for the minor pentatonic you're supposed to use when you know the major key, all you do is go down three frets from the root. So boop, boop, boop. G minor pentatonic is the minor pentatonic you could use to mindlessly just noodle away uh, at this song. And the fill, after the very first line of verse, is in the G minor pentatonic scale. And he goes on the A string, three, four, five, that four, which of course is a note that does not belong in the minor pentatonic, is the blue note. So that's why it sounds so cool. Three, four, five, and then on the D string, three, five, hammer on pull off, land on that A string fifth fret. And then back to his B flat chord, but it's much faster, of course. <laughs> I'm watching it 75% speed so I can get my brain around it. <laughs> then he kind of throws level two of thing at us when he goes, which is just the A string and the D string on the eighth fret, so you can give it a wiggle, a bend wiggle. This next one's great. It's at the end of the second line, and it's going to be A string, eighth fret, hammer on to 10, then make your way to D8. You do that twice. And then grab the D string 12th fret and the G string 10th fret, move it down one fret, one more fret, and then we want to end up with 8, 7. So... Alright, I've skipped a couple because they're awfully the same as ones we've already done. This next one at about a minute 5 is really great. So uh, it's a D7 shape. We want G9, B8, it doesn't sound like it could possibly belong in this song, right? Uh, and then E9, but we're going to strum that and then slide it up one fret. And then lose the pointer finger note. We're going to slide down two frets. And then we're going to land on E6. Reach for G7. And then you can do a B6 to 8. Hammer on to E6. So... 
And then there's a trill between the minor and major thirds of the B flat chord. It's going to be G6 and 7. And then grab our, you know, thing. And then reach for D8. So, nice and slow. But the important thing generally to mention about that particular one was after we're done with this awesome thing, we're making our way back into the B flat major pentatonic scale, which is 6 8, 5 8, 5 8, 5 7, 6 8, 6 8. So anything you normally do using the major pentatonic shape would be a great thing to do there after you get through. And then back down and you can you can do your thing doesn't really much matter. And these campfire versions, we're always talking about trying to fill it up as much as possible, and I love how the when Prince says, it's your time, at like a minute 20 here, he does the exact opposite. He does our little bend wiggle um, on the A and D string eighth frets as the whole entire B flat chord. It's your time. Sometimes less is more. Right after he goes, ah, it's this thing. And then he does something so fast in G minor pentatonic that it's completely undiscernible. So I'm just going to do the fast thing that I like to do in G minor pentatonic. And it's something like this. Um, so do your favorite thing, but I'm going to do like the yellow lead better move. G's going to go 3-5-3 three, three really fast. And we're going to hear that B string a little bit too. And then land on D5. 3 a5, 3, 1. Slide down to 1 on the A string. So for me... And you can do that really fast. After the... And then we're into the chorus. Alright, here's where even for non-thumb guys like me, this is where it might be more convenient to be a thumb guy. So I'm going to try here. Um, for the chorus, he goes... And those notes are just so quick together, and you also don't have to make the whole chord, so this is a great transition for us non, hopefully someday, thumb guy guys. Um, so grab E6, and then we're going to play our, on the 6th fret of the baby strings, and then it's going to be D6, with like a grace note hammer on, plus a wiggle, then pull off back to 6, and land on A8. So... to our F. Sometimes, I don't know how on purpose it was, it sounds really cool regardless, he played the whole little minor triad there on the 6th fret of the G, B, and E strings there. I'm going to do that. I think it sounds really cool there. Thought on the F, I heard him go... Wiggling up just one fret there, and then our chorus is just going to be G minor, A flat, B flat, like regular. And of course, after that end of the chorus, he does the major minor third, just a little less trilly. Two minutes and eight seconds, the next verse section, more thumb practice. And then you're going to land on D8 there a pull off from D8 to 6 and land on A8. Two minutes and 30 seconds. This one's great because it's wiggling in and out of minor slash major pentatonic note by note, moment by moment. This one. Grab G6 and we're going to go up to 7. B6, 8, now, 9, that's minor pentatonic, right? Reach for D8, and then G6, and land on D8. And then, of course, you can add your at the end of it. So, minor third from the minor pentatonic, major third from the major pentatonic, both major, both minor, both, both minor, <laughs> both. <laughs> this one's pretty hard to coordinate. It's at about 2 minutes and 38 seconds, and it's this one. We're going to grab G9 and slide it up 1 to 10. 
grab E10, slide that shape down to, and then immediately abandon that situation, and we want 6-6 six, six on the baby strings, and you can strum both those, and hammer on with the B string 8th fret, back off, land on G8, and that's the sus4 note to our B flat chord, so when it resolves, that's really nice. The last chorus, he adds something to the F. So he goes through his up to the F. But here you can do the pull off land on move uh, on D8 and 10 to A10 and down to A8. And that's it. The only very last thing to mention is the last chord of the song is your B flat with a high C note in there. So it's a B flat add nine. You got eight, seven, six, eight. Awesome. Jason, thank you again for the kind donation of turtle food money. Everybody else, whew, hope you enjoyed that. That was a doozy. I learned a lot. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.